know, I've had a heart for this for a long time. Um, wanted to put it into, you know, put it into action, and I just thought with the birth of my newborn son that maybe if they could see the uh, the baby before their eyes and you know see the tears in my eyes um, that you know maybe I could maybe I could change their mind or um, I just feel like um, you know we've all been selfish we've all been scared I think all of us can relate to fear and selfishness basically I think that's what yeah. it comes down to mm -hmm. and um, you know I think you know even if you feel like you can't relate to them whether you're a man or you know you know something that you, you feel like you'd never even consider something like this um, I just feel like on some level any of any one of us can relate so um, I wanted to get out here um, and um, as much as possible with the baby and and um, try to just love on people and um, let them know that you know that there's other options you know adoption open adoption closed adoption whatever you know right whatever's best um, you know there's a lot of times family members will help um, help you as well so I just um, want to be out here praying and uh, especially for all the guys that are out here um, trying to reach the men too to see if um, they can really convince them to step up and lead and um, and protect the women and children so amen so I'm out here praying amen thanks for being on deck Chris Parker you're on deck what's up man just uh you know got the uh cops called on us today and uh it's just horrible we got someone out here yelling at us telling us they're uh you know helping someone they're killing kids you know they're it's just unbelievable out here and it's just uh you know to see women come in and uh just to have the shame on their face I think you don't have to have that you got to choose a different way um not not doing something like this yeah. Why are you Why are you here, Chris? Why are you on deck right now? You know, it's just this is this is one of the biggest. You know, this is death. People are killing each other, and I think that's a huge mission. You know, people want to people want to protest and we go at different issues and um, you know, 99 percent, or you know, and it's like well, I can save somebody's life standing out here. I can I can I can do something where I can see. You know, get people to come out and um, and say they changed their mind. You know, or have have people drive by with babies and say this baby's because of you. Mm. It's like this is the this is a thing that we can stop. We can change. We have to get out here and enforce though, and just say this is not okay. And look at these people and just encourage them to make good decisions. I'm not condemning anybody, right? Um, but I'm encouraging them to change. You know, I've made mistakes. And I have to I have to encourage others to to come out of a, a simple situation with love, compassion, but reality, you know, it's, they, um, you know, people don't realize, but if you don't think about it, but people go in here trying to disconnect from reality, trying to get a way out just to say, you know, to push away the facts, and we're just here to say, hey, listen, do you know you're killing a kid? And to try to get them to bring them to reality to say, what am I doing? And, um, and offering them help, you know, we don't condemn people when they come out, like, we are, we're here to support, to love them and bring them out of that sin. And through the love of Jesus Christ, we can offer that. I can't offer love without without God, Jesus Christ. Um, so, uh, hey man. man, it's Kamari, man. How you doing? Main man here. Got a nice group of people out here today.